One of my favorite things about Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas is the adults only area at the front of the ship which is known as the solarium. I'm going to take you on a full tour of the solarium and show you why this was my favorite place to relax during our cruise. Let's start the tour outside of the solarium so I can show you the entrance. There are two entrances actually, one on the port side of the ship and one on the starboard side, very near the forward elevators. This is the port side entrance to the solarium. Once you get in those sliding doors, you're in the solarium. These first loungers that you see here are generally in the shade because of the solid roof overhead. So these loungers are quite desirable on an extremely sunny and warm day where you don't want to get too hot or sunburned. Now we get past that section that has the solid roof and get out to the main part of the solarium which has an all glass roof. Surrounded by all that glass, you can spend time relaxing in a warm setting that kind of feels like you're outdoors, but in reality you're protected from any wind or weather that's outside. Now remember that the Anthem of the Seas cruises out of New Jersey and during quite a few months of the year, the weather during the first and last days of your cruise might be anywhere from a bit cool to downright frigid. Inside the solarium though, it's paradise. Well now here's your first look at some of the water features inside the solarium. There's a really great series of cascading swimming pools. Sitting here enjoying the view and being totally protected from the wind, it's just a great place to relax. The water spills over the top of each level of the pool and down into the next level below. It reminds me a bit of some pictures I've seen of natural pools near waterfalls in Hawaii with the water flowing downstream from one pool to the next. So relaxing and such a great place to spend time. Now as I work my way down the steps here and get towards the lower level of the solarium, you see these green loungers sitting in about an inch of water. That's a great place to sit on a hot day and they have a nice view forward. Down at the lowest level of the solarium, these loungers here look right out the glass ahead of the ship and have fantastic views. Now check out this big swing here. I wish I had gotten a picture of it at night. It actually lights up. Now you see the warm jacuzzi whirlpool tubs. I spent a lot of time here, let me tell you. Now I shot this video early in the morning, one day when the solarium hadn't gotten crowded yet at that point. Believe me, on sea days, in the middle of the day, every lounger in this room is taken. So get here early in the day, or late in the day, if you're looking for a lounger. One thing you can do in the middle of the day, when all the loungers are going to be taken, is to just bring a towel and set it near the pool and spend your time in the pool rather than trying to find a lounger at all. Here's a look at the bar area within the solarium. They will, of course, be happy to fix you up with your favorite drink. Sometimes one of the bar staff would walk around the solarium and take drink orders for delivery right to your lounger, but usually it's quicker to just walk up to the bar yourself. Just on the other side of those windows on the left there is the solarium bistro. Notice the sink right here at the entrance as we go inside for a look. They want everyone to wash their hands before even entering the restaurant, and most people complied, although I saw a few who didn't. I think that's a really great idea because the food here is all served buffet style, which means that the guy in line in front of you handles a set of tongs to pick up an item and put it on his plate, and then when it's your turn, you handle those same tongs. If that guy before you didn't wash his hands, you could easily get whatever bug he might have. So I really like that they make everybody wash their hands before entering the Solarium Bistro, as well as the ship's main buffet restaurant too. The Solarium Bistro is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but the breakfast and lunch hours are somewhat limited, as is the selection. It always worked out better for me to just eat in the main buffet restaurant at the back of the ship. Better hours and a much larger selection of food to choose from. Now there's a secret entrance to the solarium that I want to show you. Two actually, on both the port and starboard sides of deck 13. Walk down the hallway all the way to the front of deck 13 and you'll see this door. Open it, which is a little easier said than done because it's a bit heavy, but you can do it. And then just keep walking down this corridor until you come to the second door. The one you see here with the little window in it. Open that and you've just entered the lower level of the solarium. On the right, you'll see one of the jacuzzis, and you can see that we're at the lower part of the solarium looking up. But I want to take you back towards that door we came through and show you another cool secret. See through the glass right here. 
There's an outdoor viewing platform on the other side of the glass that not many people know about, and getting into it is tricky. <laughs> if you just try to turn the handle on the glass door, it doesn't open. The only way to open that door is that secret button right there with a ring of little lights around it. When you push that, the door to the viewing platform will open automatically. The view out here is spectacular. You're one level above the bridge, so you've basically got the same view that the captain has. And not only do you have a fantastic view as you look ahead of the ship, but if you turn around the other way, you can see all the way down the length of the ship as you look towards the back. Wow. Now, when you're ready to go back inside, the only way back in is to find the secret button that opens up the door. Remember, trying to turn the door handle itself does nothing. So don't get stuck outside. Find the button to open the door automatically. Well, that wraps up the tour of the Solarium, my favorite part of Anthem of the Seas. I'm Jim Zem. I hope you get the chance to experience Anthem of the Seas someday, one of my favorite cruise ships. I totally loved it.